In this lecture, we are going to talk about the concept of the therapeutic window, or in other words, the range of therapeutic drug concentrations that are our target with treatment. But let's first back up and begin with the definition of the word xenobiotic, which is a foreign chemical substance, be it natural or synthetic, found within an organism that is not normally naturally produced by or expected to be present within that organism. This also includes substances that are present at concentrations that are much higher than usual. If a xenobiotic has beneficial effects on the organism, we typically call them drugs. On the other hand, xenobiotics that are harmful to an organism, we usually call toxins. Xenobiotics can be synthetic chemicals packaged as pharmaceutical products, but they can also be natural products like those found in herbs and the food we eat. So let's see if we can develop a formal definition of a drug. I like to define a drug as a xenobiotic which, when taken into a living body, affects its functioning or structure and is used in the diagnosis, mitigation, treatment or prevention of a disease or relief of discomfort. An often quoted statement by Paracelsus, who was a Swiss-German philosopher, physician, botanist, astrologer, and occultist in the Renaissance period, and who was also a pioneer in establishing the role of chemistry in medicine, is that the dose makes the poison. In other words, what he was saying is that any xenobiotic that can affect the function and structure of the body of a living organism is capable of either benefiting or harming that organism, depending on the dose. Which brings us to the concept of the therapeutic window, or the range of plasma drug concentrations that are associated with beneficial effects in a patient. Outside this range, there are concentrations that are too low to have an effect and are therefore considered to be sub-therapeutic, whereas concentrations can also be too high and cause harmful effects and are therefore referred to as being toxic. Ideally, there is a big difference between concentrations that cause beneficial effects and those that are toxic. However, this is not always the case for all drugs. In some drugs, the therapeutic window is very narrow and can even overlap with toxic concentrations. Such drugs are typically only used in cases of severe illness where the high risk is balanced by significant benefits. For some drugs, we may do therapeutic drug monitoring, which is the use of rapid assay procedures to determine drug concentrations in the plasma of clinical patients during treatment so that the dosage regimen can be adjusted in real time to ensure that drug concentrations are within the therapeutic window. But you may ask, well, if, if we're giving the same dose to all the patients, why is it necessary to monitor plasma drug concentrations because don't we expect the plasma drug concentrations to be the same for the same dose? Well, no. There are many reasons why the same dose may not result in the same plasma drug concentrations in different individuals. These include differences in absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination that are attributable to genetic differences between individuals. This isn't surprising to us at all as veterinarians if we look at the wide range of different phenotypes and breeds that occur just within a single species, like dogs. Furthermore, disease and altered physiologic states like renal and hepatic insufficiency, extremes of age, obesity and pregnancy can change any one or more of the pharmacokinetic processes within an individual over its lifetime. And finally, if more than one drug is given at the same time or drugs are given in conjunction with other chemicals that may occur in food, for example, interactions between these chemicals can alter the pharmacokinetics of the drug. So therapeutic monitoring, which can allow us to adjust dosage regimens to achieve target plasma drug concentrations, is valuable when a good correlation exists between the pharmacologic response and plasma drug concentrations. There is wide intersubject variation in plasma drug concentrations resulting from a given dose because there's wide variation in the pharmacokinetics between individuals. The drug has a narrow therapeutic index and or the drug's desired pharmacologic effects cannot be assessed readily by other simple means like simply measuring blood pressure or monitoring the consciousness of a patient. On the other hand, the value of therapeutic monitoring is limited when there is no well-defined therapeutic plasma concentration range, the formulation of pharmacologically active metabolites of a drug complicates the application of plasma drug concentration data to clinical effect unless we measure the metabolite concentrations as well. Toxic effects that may occur at unexpectedly low concentrations as well as high concentrations or if there's no significant consequence associated with concentrations that are either too high or too low. 
There are four drugs that are commonly monitored for plasma drug concentrations in veterinary medicine, and these are aminoglycosides like gentamicin or amikacin, digoxin, phenobarbital, and theophylline.